So as far as most of you know, I love art installations. One of my favorites is Meow Wolf. It started in Albuquerque, New Mexico, I believe, and they have one in Las Vegas that I've flown out to go to about three months ago, and it was just mind-blowing. Now, they're getting ready to put one in Denver, Colorado, and I can't wait to hop on an airplane and check that installation out, too. But because how successful those places are, other companies are setting up other ones across the United States that are basically the same, but just a little bit different. They tell a story, not the same story that you would find at Meow Wolf. I think they're all different stories. And today I'm coming to you from Columbus, Ohio, from something very similar to Meow Wolf that is set up in an old abandoned strip mall. And I'm inviting you to join me. I would say shall you, but uh, I think that's been taken. So today I'm coming to you from Columbus, Ohio, and the name of this attraction is called Otherworld. Now it's set up, like I said, in an old mall. In fact, there's an old Target over there. Otherworld's here, and pretty much every business around here is empty. It looks like they have a trampoline park over there. Don't know if it's open, but uh, very desolate, empty parking lot. And from what I gather from what's inside this place, this parking lot should not be empty. Anyway, let me go get my backpack and uh, we're gonna head in, spend about two hours in there and explore. Should be fascinating. I'm excited. Okay, I can already tell this place is going to be amazing. Now, I heard about this place from Jacob the Carpetbagger. He came here about a week ago and shot a video, which is great because I watch a lot of roadside attraction YouTubers, and uh, Jacob's one of them. And, uh, yeah, he came here and made me aware of this place. So let's uh, head on inside. Right now we're in the lobby area, and we're going to be able to go inside in just a second. But just in the lobby area alone, there is a ton of cool stuff to see. Lots of cool projection mapping and the beginning of the actual story to the other world. Though this trip, I'm not going to focus on the story. I'm just going to focus on the amazing artwork. All right, let's go in. They're saying we can go in. You can head into any of these three doors. What's in here? Oh, this is like a, a storage. We got a storage thing here. I guess if you're tracking the story about this place, every little room you go to is clues. Okay, that is cool. I don't know what clue this is, but what a neat room. Try tuning the cap over to the exact number. We're close to synthesizing. Hey, it's Greg. I have something I need to run by you. There's something unusual about the news. What do you mean unusual? Anomalies. You should look. Uh-oh. Oh, jump scare. Jump scare. This is beautiful. Instead of going back in there, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, check out what's in here. Hold on, can we go in this door? No. What is that? Oh my lord. Check this out. A kid's bedroom. Look at look at the monster foot. There's a monster foot. A bed. Bam! This is really sweet. What's up with this teddy bear has an eye? Something under the bed? I think there's something under the bed. A monster under the bed? Oh wow. Yeah, I'm not gonna go in there, I'm too big. So check this out, the monster's looking in the kid's bedroom window. There's a foot coming out of the closet. And then here we have a foot breaking through the wall. And it looks like, ooh, what's back in here? Oh God, there's so much to see and do in here. Okay, there is portals to numerous rooms. And uh, I don't know which room to start in first, where to start the adventure. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, bypass the kids' room and all that stuff for a moment and go back into here and kind of explore this one area first. Holy cow, this is so cool. So if you want to do the story, you have to go ahead and grab a computer and start solving the mystery of Otherworld, which we're not doing today. But maybe in the future, I'm going to come back and check this place out and do one of the stories. Get in here. Okay. And getting in the simulation box. Ooh. Steph stuck in a truck is over there in a simulation box. And it's like we're part of a brain. Like I said, there's a lot of portals that go to different places. And you never know where you're going to end up. I'm just uh, too big for some of them. Okay, in this one room here, you got some sort of monolith here in the center of the room. And then up above in the ceiling, we got numerous eyeballs just staring down on us, looking around. Big Brother watching. And out of Big Brother watching, we walk into another portal. Would you guys look at this place? This is beautiful. I said it is very meow wolf like this is uh they put they put a lot of time and effort with the local artists and stuff whoever created this if, if they do everything the same way meow wolf does i love projection mapping look at this you climb in the mouth of a monster oh wow so dark in here but that is so cool I I want to hop back there there is a portal back there I might be able to do this one that I'm so large I can't fit in the portals you can be large and fit in the portals I just got my backpack on and it's hard to climb through some of the portals with a backpack on and it gives me something to look forward to my next trip I could step through this one I just step right over this wall into this portal. Oh, what the heck? I am so lost. This gives you that Crayola experience, that the Crayola experience there's a wall and you stand under this type of stuff and the paint just kind of pours over your head. It doesn't do that here, but it's very similar. And look at this. I wound up under the kid's bed anyway. Look at this Norwal. There's a giant Norwal with another portal in his mouth. And it looks like I can get right out here and climb underneath the child's bed in that portal. Go right into the kid's closet. It's kind of cool. We could draw, we could hand paint. You're stuck in a bean bag. What is back here? That uh, is having a science experiment done to it. another creature that uh, isn't pleasant to look at actually to me it looks like uh, alien plant life the story must have something to do with alien plant life DNA
there's just so much to see in this place. I went to Meow Wolf Mega Mart in Las Vegas, and it was big. It was big. There was rooms in there that were ginormous. But I think that other worlds may be even larger than at least the Mega Mart in Las Vegas. Not Area 15 as a, as a whole. That place is gi gigantic. But Meow Wolf alone, I think other worlds might actually be a little bit bigger. Check out some of the stuff on this side of the portals. What the heck is this? I'm actually thinking that a lot of it is plant-based. Look at that. We could actually go inside of this and solve some sort of riddle. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to work these things. good at video game puzzles or very good at real life puzzles but I do love the visuals here we have two ways we could go we could go through this cool looking thing or over here to the right let's check out the right first what the heck is going on in here like possibly drums these drums? Oh, that's a big one. That one doesn't do much. That one does. Oh, I hope that my low light on this camera is picking everything up because it's just beautiful in here. Okay, it's time to navigate this cool stuff. This is so trippy, so trippy. With the mirrors, the LED lights, I think I am in love with this place. There's some amoeba stuff on the ground and I think if I step in it, let's see here. Whoa, yeah. So you step in them and they, they pop. Okay, that's pretty neat. What's this? Where am I going now? I have no idea what this place is. It is just amazing just to walk through here. You are encouraged to touch, move, and interact with everything in this place okay that is cool I love things like this at area 15 in Las Vegas there was a lot of, of, of things very similar to this and I could just spend all day in their infinity rooms just because of the lighting alone Where am I? Oh, I'm way down there. This place is ginormous. Whoa. Getting total vertigo in here. Okay, this is pretty trippy. I'm standing in a, a square box room with just projection mapping moving all around me. And it's giving you that feeling. It's just giving you this weird feeling. Portal in the mouth. It's just so big it never ends. away what the heck is this oh 
this is sweet. You can play records in here. You gotta change that record though. You can just sit in here all day. Yeah, just kick back, sit down in one of these lovely chairs and enjoy the view and the music. Hopefully it's not copyrighted. She keeps saying, oh, that's my jam. Oh, that's my jam. That's my jam. Are you picking another jam? There's a lot of records to choose from. You could, you could just relax here all day long. It's like all the trash, all the trash is making something from the beginning, like the mops. I think this leads to the one room that you start in if you're gonna try and solve everything because it's trash bags, mops, and garbage cans. Exactly, that's what this is. They have a video game style room. Oh, you could go into a portal in the video game? Is it? Oh, I, can I fit down there? Okay, you go first. Climb on in there. Gosh, this this better be worth it. Oh, oh my knees. Oh my knees. Ow. Ow. Oh my knees. It seemed like when I was younger, when I could do things like this and my knees would hurt. Oh. 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 What the heck? Crawling on concrete isn't great for old man knees. Oh, can I get up? Oh, oh, we did it. Where am I? Inside the video game. Whoa. Oh, they got gun zappers. Let's grab a gun. Zappa. Oh. I'm not going to climb back out through the video game. That was just too rough on my knees. What the heck is this going on here? Very scary. Whoa. This is pretty scary and creepy. Okay. These are things nightmares are made of. Truck is closing the lid of that casket and uh, the flowers die. That's not a it's not a happy moment when you close the casket. Okay, she's opening it back up. There they go. Bouncing, bouncing back into full color. Now, this is just a creepy place. guys that's about it if you're ever in the columbus ohio area come check out otherworld it's very meow wolf like pretty amazing and ginormous you could spend quite a few hours here but unlike everybody else at this place i'm at work and i gotta get traveling again this was just a quick pop in next time i'm in town i'm definitely going to be entering these doors once again until the next time i bid you all a fair ado. Are those fangs? Is that a vampire mask?